News this month that a third person has been cured of HIV has given hope to millions of people around the world, and it's given a boost to HIV research here in San Diego. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Ahrens takes an in-depth look at UC San Diego's HIV Institute and how they're leading the way towards a cure. For more than 30 years, the HIV Institute in this building at UC San Diego has been developing treatment after treatment to turn HIV into a disease you can live with rather than die from. But when the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases released this news that another person has been cured, they took it with a grain of salt. It's always exciting and encouraging to show that cure can happen. Still, Dr. Douglas Richmond, the director of the HIV Institute, warns this cure is not for everyone. This particular approach is not a safe or realistic approach for the 38 million people on the globe who are currently infected. That's because it uses what Dr. Richmond calls an expensive, dangerous stem cell transplant therapy, which has only been tried on people who have HIV and a malignant form of cancer. The HIV Institute is looking for ways to cure everyone else with the disease. The best ways to prevent disease are really making treatment more and more universal. They've had a lot of success over the years when it comes to treatment. The HIV Institute took the lead on trials that ultimately created the drug AZT. Their labs also discovered HIV is drug resistance, which pioneered the concept of combination therapy. And they were the first to find HIV infects the genes of cells, leaving what's called a latent reservoir of the disease inside your body. Fighting that reservoir is the key battle now in finding a cure. The important approach to a cure is to characterize the reservoir and figure out uh, ways to help eliminate it. And that is a very challenging objective. All these breakthroughs have made a difference. The latest data from the World Health Organization shows that HIV deaths have dropped every year since 2004, from a peak of 1.9 million to 680,000 in 2020. And new infections are down from 3 million per year in 1995 to one and a half million in 2020. The good news is that treatment has taken a life-threatening disease to a disease that can be managed if one takes one's medications reliably. Looking ahead, the HIV Institute started the Last Gift Program, where people who die with HIV donate their bodies to science. Dr. Richmond says that will let his team study tissue samples where the infection lives. This program is providing a lot of insight on what's going on in the various tissues, the gut, the brain, the lymph nodes. So that's an important area of investigation that's being done now. Meanwhile, the Institute is working with Scripps Research on a vaccine to prevent the disease. And while COVID-19 pandemic restrictions slowed research over the last two years, it also showed ways that science can speed up with greater emphasis on funding and collaboration. This problem of HIV is so large globally and so important that the HIV investigators in San Diego are hoping to regain a balance and get back to addressing this important problem. Jared Ahrens, ABC 10 News.